Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Oh man, I got toothpicks on my mouth. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ken. And for those of you who, a few of you who may know, me and my husband originally created this channel uh, to be more fitness driven. And we made this channel, what I say, a little over a year ago. Only put out two videos and then after that, um, life happened. So I decided to revamp this whole channel and now it's just kinda gonna be more about me. So I was like coming up with ideas, like how do I revamp? What videos do I come up with to revamp this channel what do I do so me and my husband are actually gonna go on kind of like a little date little daytime date so I figured what better way to start off this channel than with a get ready with me just don't let another minute go by without making sure you subscribe down below at this channel I'm gonna try my very 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 best to try to get one video out a week and once I you know perfect that then I'll try to you know start doing you know two a week if you want to get ready with me you want to see how i'm gonna do my makeup for you know me and my booze you know little date uh then make sure you keep watching i really don't have a lot of time but this is probably gonna take you know a lot of my time anyways so just figure like i said why not do a get ready with me because i need to get ready so why not film it and talk to you guys i don't really know what i'm gonna talk about except for you know the direction that I want my channel to go. You know, I've been, you know, just kind of, I don't want to say researching because I haven't really been necessarily researching, but I've definitely been kind of coming up with, okay, what what is it that people like to see? Oh, by the way, I did already moisturize. That's why I'm, I'm just priming. And I'm priming with the NYX HD Studio uh, Photogenic prime ba Primer Base. So anyways, for those of you who care, you know i've been like kind of looking up okay what is things that viewers like to see what is it that um i guess is high demand as far as uh videos go like people like get ready with me people like chats people like get to know me a lot of youtubers do tutorials there's a lot of them so you know i'm i may do some of those you know especially if people asking then yeah absolutely and some of them I may just do on my own but I really feel like like the get ready with me's will probably be more of like what I would lean towards only because I like to talk um if y'all hear a little cheering in the background those are my kids so yeah so that's the kind of direction I want to go as far as beauty uh lifestyle will be again more towards uh christianity the lifestyle uh what comes with it um you know just encouraging words for you know people and that's really what i want to do like i want to encourage people i want people to be inspired and because of what i've been through in my testimony i want to be able to bring someone else to jesus sorry y'all i'm like looking from here to here the camera is like right here and sometimes I keep looking right here and it's only because I can see myself here I can't really see myself I can see myself right here so this is literally um my third my third my third try um my very first try it was more geared towards singing um and I only did one video and it was <laughs> It was the crappiest video, like for real, y'all. It was the crappiest video. Um, but I did it in my bathroom, like literally right after me and my husband got married. Uh, we was in our little apartment. And I was like, hey, you know, I want to like start doing YouTube videos. So I grabbed the camera. I went in the bathroom. I set it up to the best of my ability. And back then the light was like yellow. Ooh, I was yellow. But I thought that was good lighting. So, you know, I went with it and I sung, what did I sing? Oh my gosh. Um, I want to say it was Halo. I think that was the song that I did. And um, if y'all can find it on YouTube, you probably can't because I can't even find it. Uh, you know, just put the link because I really want to see, you know, what I looked like, what I sound like. Oh my gosh, that was 
almost 10 years ago. Okay, so I just filled in my brows with a spike, but I kind of want them to be a little bit more, I don't know, dramatic. So I'm also going to go ahead and use, um, oh, Dip Down by MAC. Uh, and just kind of go in and just kind of, I don't know, I guess like clean it up a little bit better. I like my eyebrows to look kind of crisp, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to take an angle brush like this. You guys see that? An angle brush like this, which is from Morphe. It's the Y23 brush. going to, you know, just go in and again, this is, I'm trying not to make this a tutorial. I just wanted to make a, like a little chit chat. Okay, so... I'm just gonna clean up, clean up my brows with my MAC Pro Longwear and NC50. So I went on and just finished my camera up. Ugh. Finished my brows off camera and I did clean them up, but I didn't clean them up with like anything lighter. I just used my MAC Pro Longwear and uh, NC50, cleaned them up a little bit and yeah. So the next thing that I'm gonna do, I saw one of my favorite YouTubers do this and so I was like, that's a little strange. Her name is Jackie Ina, so y'all make sure y'all go follow her. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers. But anyway, she used her powder <clears throat> before she applied her foundation and stuff. So she put it in her problem areas. And so I tried it one day. It changed my life. So uh, one thing I noticed that she said is that she presses it in the skin so it's good to like you know use like a beauty blender or something like that you know use a um instead of like a brush like brushing it on because you really want it to kind of get in the skin i like when i first did it i was like this is a little silly i mean the worst thing that can happen is that it doesn't work so i tried it um and I love it. So I'm putting that all like on my nose and like right here, like on my, right, like kind of on my cheekbones and right here on my face. Cause that's kind of where I have my problem area. I'm excited for this channel. I'm going to do my very, very best to try and stay consistent as much as I can. And I, you know, I'm just gonna, I, I have a ton of ideas and things that I want to do and so I think the main problem with me is really just kind of like, I guess, finding time to do it and or making time to do it. Um, you know, I have, you know, I have a busy life. You know, I want to talk about being a stay at home mom. I'm a stay at home mom, you know, and, you know, the lies and myths of, you know, the stay at home mom and things like that. And, you know, I want to do that. And I want to talk about, you know, myths of being a submissive wife you know because the world would tell us so many things that sound so right and so good but it's so wrong and on so many levels so i just have a lot of ideas that i want to execute on here and put them to use and just want it to be great for you guys i also have you know doing one face with a drugstore, one face with high end, which I'm sure there's like a ton of people doing that. So that's not, that's not really nothing new, but I still want to do it and I'm going to do it. For my eyes, I am going to be doing, this is not mine, this is my sister's, but her Jaclyn Hill palette, it's pretty dirty, but that's what I'm going to use. I feel like I forgot something. I really feel like I like forgot. I don't really know what it is. All right, so I just, applied this green this little really cute green i don't know the name but it's from the jacqueline hill palette i don't really know the name of it but kind of take this chocolatey color again i don't have a name everything blends okay so i want it to be a little bit like darker on the corner so i am gonna go in with a little bit of a smaller brush really not a black in this palette almost like a dark chocolate kind of color that i'm actually gonna use so i'm just gonna use it right there and i'm just gonna make a v and then i'm gonna go back in with that really pretty pretty green 
So I know this was not supposed to be a tutorial, but you know, I kind of ran out of stuff to talk about. But anyway, so now I'm going to do my foundation. And what I'm going to use today is the Black Opal True Color Pore Perfecting Liquid Foundation in the color Al Chocolate. Um, I've used this before. I think I use Beautiful Bronze. It was just too yellow, too, too, too golden for my liking and it just it just did not look great so i'm gonna try i'm gonna try this color and we won't see i really really want to like this foundation i really do but you know i don't know i mean so far this may be a are you playing i'm not playing can I come in? no get out why are you doing why are you doing Jackson. Here? Close the door. This is my baby. I'm going to take my beauty blender. Y'all don't try to get me. Come for me for my beauty blender. I know it's dirty. I know I need to clean it. I've now used it three times and now I need to clean it. Don't come for me, okay? Anyways, you know, I'm just going to, you know, put some moisture on it. I'm just going to, you know, kind of go in there and. so now we're gonna go under the eyes with my la girl pro concealer and this is in the color fawn so this totally was not supposed to turn into a tutorial but you know hey you know we're just gonna go with the flow right just gonna put that all up under my eyes now i don't go directly under my eyes only because it is very very thin up under there and i don't want to do a lot of like tugging and stuff up under there so i just whenever i use my beauty blender you know I kind of you know put it up under there but starting off I don't do that and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use a, a cream foundation stick by Anastasia and I'm gonna use the color earth to go ahead and contour my face. And I'm gonna use the color cocoa to kind of contour my nose a little bit. Actually, I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna use a powder. I like to use a powder to contour my nose because it's such a small space, I don't really be want to, I just don't be want to do all that. So I am not going to do that. Take my beauty blender and I'm just going to, you know, put some moisture on it and just, you know, blend everything out. Okay, after all of that is blended out, then I'm and I am going to go ahead with my powder, my setting powder. And this is, you know, this is just the Ben Nye Banana Valley Old Faithful. Um, and I'm just gonna really press that into my skin. I don't really care to like bake anymore. Um, I just don't care to do all that. Um, I'll press it into my skin and I feel like it just looks better for me. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and put the glue on my lashes. Sorry, I see my neighbors pulling in, so you know, I gotta be nosy. This was definitely supposed to be a quick get ready with me, but it's definitely been like, maybe an hour now. It's supposed to have been gone. I'm confused. What am I looking for? Okay, so off camera, I went on and I went over my cream contour with the, um, what is this? Beautiful Radiance? Black Radiance. Well, I say Beautiful Radiance. Oh my gosh. Black Radiance Contour Palette. Um, and this is the Medium to Dark Palette. And I just used that color to go 
on my cheekbones and a little bit on my nose and then a little bit on my forehead and then yeah so I went on and I applied my uh, lashes off camera for lashes I just use um, this on my brand and it is the salon perfect and they they're really pretty lashes but they're not that thick so I just you know I doubled them up you just do that I didn't have any really thick lashes that I really liked um, so that's what I did you know so now I'm gonna go with the elf uh, blush palette and I'm just gonna go with this color right here it's crazy because when I was younger which I'm sure like every you know darker skin woman went through it's like I was like not a big fan of blush for like years even after getting into makeup I still like I just avoided it as much as possible it's, um I don't know why I just I didn't know for one I didn't know how to apply it for two you know there wasn't really a lot of like youtubers back in the day that was like women of color let me just be real it wasn't a lot of them so you know see if their skin women do it and it's like oh that's a pretty but that could never look like that on me so um, I ran across like years ago oh my gosh this was like before I even had my daughter no, it was around the time I had my daughter. I ran across Jackie Ina. And at that time, she was Little Pumpkin Pie 05, I believe. Sorry, y'all. Look, like I keep looking down because I know, I know that I know, that I know that I had. Oh, it's right here. I'm wrong. I ran across her and I'm like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I can relate to her. Oh my gosh, she does makeup. She wears blush too. She worked at MAC at one point she was in the military she had a lot of things that I could relate to her like my husband was in the military so that was really relatable um, she was like into makeup and I was like not really into makeup at that time but I knew that I wanted to again I just there was just not a lot of like people that are um, women of color on YouTube at that time and this is like 2000 this was like back 2011 um, from yeah 2011 2011 is around the time i came across actually like 2010 ish to 2011 ish is when i ran across jackie Anna's page i really liked how uh informational she was and how much she knew about what she was doing it's like she knew about the products i knew nothing about color theory but i learned a lot of color theory from her page i just learned a lot and it really helped me for when i went to work at mac you know of course i did my own research uh to make sure you know what was said was true i just really appreciate her page and i know that's why she created her youtube and jackie if you ever ever watch any of my videos you ever run across this video like i want you to know that you were like you're such a huge uh, influential person and of course we know that like you your your uh, following is amazing and things like that but like to hear it from people it's it's even better so i just want to thank you for you know i know that at that time you were going through a lot um i just want to thank you for just you know putting yourself out there I really appreciate that that it was amazing and I'm so so happy she did that now there is a lot to look up to and look at and just kind of like yeah you know they're awesome now I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Anastasia glow kit and I'm just gonna take I think I'm gonna take this like I don't know if I want to take that peachy or that bronzy peachy or I'm gonna use two different ones. So I'm gonna use a little bit of the bronze and a little bit of the uh, tourmaline, which is like a pinky, pinky, bronzy, whatever. And I'm gonna put a little bit for one on the tear duct. Um, definitely one of my favorite things to do is to do that. I'm gonna take a little bit of the tourmaline, which is that pinky color. <laughs> and I'm gonna just put it, it I lied, no. I'm, I don't like that. We're gonna go with the bronze. And I'm gonna put it right in the tear duct. Yeah, I like how that looks way better. 
do I want? Ugh, I don't know what I want. Don't y'all hate when like that happens? Like you have this look and then you start doing other things and you're like, uh, now I don't know what look I want because this looks so beautiful and I don't want to screw it up. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of bronze. Just a little bit. Ooh, yes. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of both. Just cause like, why not? You know what I'm saying? Like when in doubt, be extra. But right now I'm just kind of blending, blending that so you just don't have like a line that's not cute. Nobody wants that. So I'm just gonna, oh, it's cute. It's funny cause this is my palette and I use this all the time. But like, it's different when I see it on camera, I guess. So a trick that you can do, because I do this all the time, because, you know, I get a little overboard, is that I'll just go back with my blush brush and I just kind of, you know, blend it all in nicely. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a little bit of the tourmaline and just kind of, if I'm even saying that right, I'm just going to take it up just a little bit. And then again, like right there oh make sure it's blended i'm going to use my nyx lip pencil and deep purple and i'm just gonna you know line line my lips like so so this color that i'm going to use or this lippy that i'm going to use i actually found at my local beauty supply store because I love like supporting you know smaller brands I love it because sometimes they're the bomb.com and y'all be sleeping on them this is by I mean we all know kiss this is by kiss professionals and this color is Coco Ravish so I'm gonna use this and this is kind of what it's like it's really pretty cute packaging real pretty color festa extra me so Oh, I actually never wore this color. It's got like a blue. It's a purple, but it's got like some blue undertone. I don't know if y'all can see it on camera, but it is gorgeous. See, my what I originally wanted to do, I don't think I'm gonna do it because like. I wasn't expecting this color to be like popping like that. I knew that it was gonna be cute. I just didn't know it was gonna be like that. Oh, that's so pretty. I am actually gonna take my Anastasia lip palette and I don't know what color this is, but this little purpley color, cause that's like the undertone that is giving me like this purpley kind of, not necessarily blue, so it's more of the, like this lavender color. I'm gonna just pop that right in the middle. I'm gonna take a lip brush I'm just going to take a little bit of that. Well, I'm going to go get dressed and I will be right back so you can see the full everything. This actually turned out like real cute. So let me go get dressed real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So I am now dressed. I, you know, kind of did a bun or something to my hair and i really like this i think it's super cute it's super festive um it's a little much yeah for a little daytime day but you know when in doubt be extra right so i thank y'all so much for just even clicking on this video and seeing what in the world i have to say and what in the world i'm doing um i really appreciate y'all i feel so blessed even if it's just a few of y'all i thank you so much Please make sure before you leave my page, before you click out of this video, that you subscribe, okay? You don't wanna miss any of my videos, any of the amazing content that I have planned for you guys and uh, you know, for myself. So make sure you click that uh, alert button so that way you don't miss any of my videos. You can't say, girl, I didn't know you posted that. Well, if you would've clicked the alert, button you would have saw that I posted it so I thank you guys so much I love each and every one of you even if I don't know you and if no one told you today that they love you well I'm gonna tell you today that I love you I appreciate you and I thank y'all so much God bless y'all have a good day bye